Happy New Year. 2021 is finally upon us. It's time for us to look forward with anticipation to the year ahead and to ponder a little bit what God might have in store for us. On January the 1st, we celebrate the holy name of Jesus, for this is the date that the church remembers Jesus being given his name. And if you're sitting here saying, well, I'm not quite sure I remember that one, Father, let me share with you from Luke's Gospel. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. It's that last sentence that we tend to lose some sight of. We, we get very caught up in the birth of Jesus, in the shepherds, and in just a few days in the arrival of the, the wise men. But it's easy to overlook this, this one sentence. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, that is part of Jewish ritual and Jewish law. The, the circumcision and the naming ceremony are, are very important for, for a Jewish child. And he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. That too is, is an important portion of this because the giving of a name is, is very symbolic. Uh, knowing someone's name, giving a name, being able to name something is, is a way of demonstrating uh, authority over that person, that child. And so in, in Jewish ritual, the father names the child as a way of claiming the child and saying that this child is my responsibility and is under my protection and my authority. So to not have that opportunity... Uh, was probably yet another challenge for Joseph. Joseph is an amazing figure in the biblical narrative. We'll spend more time on Joseph uh, because there's a lot for us to learn there. But the naming of the child Jesus came from God. And so it is, it is vitally important that that name be given him. And that is the name that we have carried through the centuries. There's another sentence in this short passage which I think is very easy to overlook, and that is this. But Mary treasured these words and pondered them in her heart. When you think about the name of Jesus, use that lens. Do as Mary did, treasure what you know of Jesus and ponder that name in your heart. That's what I want you to do this New Year's Day, brothers and sisters. Think about your relationship with Jesus. Think about what knowing the name of Jesus, being introduced to Jesus, has meant to you in your life. How has that, how has that brought you a sense of peace, a sense of joy, a sense of comfort? And pondering that name, what does that do for you going forward? You know what it's done for you to this point, but what will the name of Jesus and your relationship, your walk with Jesus, what will that mean to you into 21 and beyond? 
something for you to spend a little time thinking about today. But I'm not done because I have another, well, yeah, we're going to call it this. I have another assignment for you, brothers and sisters. You have been blessed. If you're watching this, it's very likely that you have been blessed by a relationship with Jesus because you know the name of Jesus. You have been introduced to Jesus. You have been given that, that great gift. Your assignment then is this. I want you to think about someone to whom you can pass along that gift. I want you to think about someone that perhaps doesn't know Jesus or knows only what, what they have heard or what the culture tells them, but doesn't really have that deep connection, that, that firm introduction, that ability to walk with Jesus, to lean back and to rest in Jesus. And your assignment then, my brothers and sisters, is to make that introduction. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, that's a scary concept. You don't have to do it right this minute. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to pray with me. It's a very simple prayer. It goes like this. God, come into my heart and open my heart and open my eyes to see someone for whom I can be a blessing. Make me like St. Andrew, someone who introduces people to you. Show me that person, God, and then help me to have the courage and the faith to make that introduction. You never know, my friends. You might be giving them, like the shepherds gave to Mary, you might be giving them something that they could treasure and ponder all the days of their life. I leave you today with the blessing that Moses gave to the Israelites. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May peace be yours in this new year, brothers and sisters, and we'll see you tomorrow morning.